Okay, so basically we've talked about this before a little bit, um, and I've done classes on this in our Patreon group. I've done, we've done live streams on this as well. Um, but since then, our channel has grown so much, which is great. Thank you, everyone who has subscribed. And, you know, with that comes new people who are probably also new to cryptocurrency. And that's something we've really enjoyed and, and been glad to provide educational and insight of, you know, what to expect from participating in cryptocurrencies, particularly during a bull run. A lot of hype is happening. Um, and so we're always just trying to you know, give you give you some peace of mind and expectations to have. So are you ready for the end of the bull run? Do you have an exit strategy? Do you know your plan of what you're just like in an investment plan period? You know, when are you going to take profits? At what price are you looking for to get out of a certain coin? Yes, those yes, are, yes, yes. You, yes. you should have that. But also the logistics of it, you know, like where are you going to be storing these coins? Are you going to be getting into fiat to purchase things that you need to purchase? Um, are you... Have you done some research on the stable coins that you're interested in getting into? We're going to talk about it all. I mean, what, we've, what right we've seen in the past, or at least what we've seen in 2017, 2018, was that after Bitcoin kind of peaked, you know, some people took their profits from Bitcoin. And then in that way, the altcoins kind of had a secondary bull run or like, you know, pop. Um, and then, you know, the whole thing kind of went back down again. So... <laughs> There's kind of, it's kind of like a delayed reaction. It's just like how most of these altcoins tend to follow the price of Bitcoin is because most people, when they're buying crypto, they go into Bitcoin first. And then after that, they use that Bitcoin to trade into other cryptocurrencies. So it lends itself to that kind of a pattern. We are not going to take out our altcoins at the very, very, very top. That's uh, very hard to do. Nobody is. For two I don't care. Reasons. Hold on. I, I don't yeah. care what YouTuber you're listening to. <laughs> I don't care what newsletter you're listening to. They're not going to call the top. Yeah. They're not. I think I think it's hard for two different reasons. Number one, emotionally, uh, when it's going crazy, if you are not a seasoned investor in crypto, if this is your first bull run, I know your mindset is going to be, oh, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. So that's first way how it's hard. Second reason why it's hard is the, lo the logistics of it. When the prices are extremely volatile, especially with, uh, you know, during a bull run, is these centralized exchanges are notorious for shutting down. Their servers are overloaded. Maybe that's why it's happening. Maybe they're doing insider trading. Who knows what's happening? A lot of conspiracy theories about that but like binance bitfinex kraken i'm sure is like they've all i think i feel like they've all done it at some point i <laughs> i think that once you see that that's that's a red flag that's the canary in the coal mine kind of just popping dead you know so that's when you might want to just, eh, just chill out a little bit i mean we will have it a little bit on the way up you'll have exchanges just being overloaded you know especially with huge pumps or whatever but, but especially when it's dropping yeah down. yeah you're like especially when it's like on the near the top of the market i mean you're gonna see a lot of exchanges going to poop and um it's, yeah it's the same on the way down as well people are like you know eager to get out of their position out. and they're not so that's that's the main reason why we're making this live stream now plenty of time in advance for i mean for those of you who are just now thinking about getting into crypto this probably doesn't apply to you but for people who have you know for the past year have been paying attention to what, what we've been saying have been in our patreon group you'll know that we've been you know helping you to prepare to be in a best position for this bull run and you know it, they come in cycles they don't necessarily last forever so the other side of that is preparing for exiting um, just like how you may have dollar cost averaged into a position, you can do the same on the way out. So let's say you're already up like 200%, which is easily done, <laughs> uh, in the bull run, at least, <laughs> yeah. um, you can start taking some profits just so then you're seeing profits. You're not like, you know, waiting for that one pinnacle ideal moment in time to make that trade. The chances of that happening are actually pretty quite slim. So being conservative Having a good head on your shoulders, uh, I think, I think helps with your state of mind as well. Um, but um, as far as like what we are going to be selling, we're definitely going to keep our ETH, uh, our, our sorry, our Bitcoin, and mm -hmm. we will probably keep about half our ETH. But hey, 
guys, like that can change anytime. I'm always reevaluating the entire space. It's really fun. You know, I got a bunch of great friends that are really involved in this space as well. So it's, a, it's not just me like making a decision, you know, I'm kind of getting an, an overall consensus of like what I think is going to be happening. And I think it's, mm. that's, that's the way to really accomplish great things in a bull run is really you having a lot of good people that have been in several bull and bear markets beforehand. You don't want to be listening to people that have just started up a YouTube channel or, or have having a, having a, a newsletter out there that have not been through a bear and bull. Yeah. Like that's a stupid, like you have to be with veterans now. All right. Let's say you're new to crypto. Let's say you're still trying to accumulate more Bitcoin. Like, cause there is quite a difference I think between our experience in crypto and those who are just now entering and mm -hmm. they want to do what they can to, you know, time the market and, and stack more sats. So, even if that's your situation, I would recommend because typically if you look at the charts of for Bitcoin, at least through the past three bull runs, uh, what happens is or at least the past two, let's say 2014 and 2017, is that it peaks and then it drops and then it goes up a bit and then it really drops. Mm -hmm. So timing that dip could also be obviously hard if you're new in crypto, but I would recommend and what we're going to do, maybe not with Bitcoin, but with our altcoins is we are going to take those profits, put it into a stable coin and then wait because there it does happen in cycles with these crypto uh, markets. It's like a three year cycle, right? So it's like a one year bull market, a one year bear market, maybe not one year, uh, but then, and then it's like an accumulation phase. And in that accumulation phase is when you want to use that dry powder that you saved from the past bull run to accumulate your positions into Bitcoin at a much cheaper price, even than probably that first initial dip will, will be after that uh, peak. Because usually, again, it dips, it kind of goes up and then goes back down again. And, and now we're, we're really blessed with the opportunity to go ahead and put our, our stable coins into uh, interest-bearing accounts, pretty much like that.